House Republicans all QAnon. grilled all the former time. Twitter employees on Capitol Hill yesterday. This didn't really go the way they expected, did no, it? No, in an attempt to prove that the social media companies singled out, they were all, okay, right-wing voices for censorship. In a six-hour House Oversight Committee hearing, the four former employees faced questions about the company's decision to ban the sharing of a 2020 New York Post article, which made unsubstantiated claims about then-candidate Joe Biden's youngest son, Hunter, shortly after the Post published the article, Twitter pointed to concerns about hacked material as the reason for blocking the story. Twitter has since admitted that decision was a mistake, but in yesterday's hearing, the former employees refuted claims that the site colluded with the Biden campaign and FBI to influence the results of the 2020 election. In fact, a former employee said yesterday that it was actually the Trump White House that tried to influence Twitter's content. What? After model, this is where we're at, after model Chrissy Teigen responded to this attack against her by then, the then president in 2019. You testified about a 2019 tweet um, that was about President Trump. And I think it was from uh, Ms. Teigen. What was the tweet about? Would you like me to give the direct quote? Yeah. Um, Please excuse my language. This is a direct quote, but Chrissy Teigen referred to Donald Trump as a. OK, free speech. And what happened after Ms. Teigen posted her tweet? What did the White House do? What did the Trump White House do? From my understanding, the White House reached out to ask that this tweet be removed. Beep, man. Yeah, this is Veep. And another <laughs> moment yesterday, that same former employee revealed that her bosses changed Twitter's internal rules. Mika and I know something yeah. about this. Yeah. A lot about this mm -hmm. to accommodate Trump's hateful rhetoric against immigrants. I'd like to show you a tweet posted by former President Trump about my colleagues and I on July 14th, 2019. It says in part, quote, why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? My team, Ray, made the recommendation that for the first time we find Donald Trump in violation of Twitter's policies. At the time, Twitter's policy included a specific example when it came to banned abuse uh, against immigrants as in they specifically included the phrase, go back to your country or go, or go back to where you came from, correct? Yes, that was specifically included in the content moderation guidance as and an you, example. You brought this up to the vice president of trust and safety, Del Harvey, correct? I did, yes. And she overrode your assessment, didn't she? Yes, she did. Um, and something interesting happened after she overrode your assessment. A day or two later, Twitter seemed to have changed their policies, didn't they? Yes, that trope, go back to where you came from, was removed from the content moderation guidance as an example. So Twitter changed their own policy after the president violated it um, in order to potentially accommodate his tweet? Yes. Thank you. Um, so much for bias against right wing on Twitter. I, 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 it, it's just good job. It's just so shocking, isn't it? It's actually the opposite of what the Republicans said was happening. Again, Mika and I saw it dealing with 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 Twitter saying, wait a second. So it's legal for a guy to accuse somebody else of murder 12 times, but it violates all of these policies. And they go, yeah, well, we're looking into that. And then in this case, on, on, on this racist trope that fascist Jews go back to where you came from, they actually stopped letting that be a, a, a banned uh, a, a phrase mm -hmm. because they wanted to change the rules for Donald Trump. In fact, Willie, this entire hearing reminds me of that scene in the classic movie, The Other Guys. Where Will Ferrell? Oh God! Where, where Will Ferrell? Stay with me, because this is it an important movie, by moment the way. in movie history. Patiently explains to Mark Wahlberg after Mark Wahlberg <laughs> says that lions will eat tuna. How his how his family of tuna will devise uh, uh, breathing devices and devour the entire okay? pride of lion. No, I'm just saying. And what was a punchline? Will Ferrell goes. 
<laughs> that didn't really turn out the way you expected, <laughs> did it? And neither did this hearing. Republicans made fools of themselves again. They tried to, exp it's just like the FBI. The FBI, the New York office's leaks against Hillary Clinton for two years and James Comey's letter elected Donald Trump. And they're trying to say the FBI was going after Donald Trump. It's just not, and the same thing here. They keep doing these things that never turn out the way they expect. And Will Farrell also said, as he flipped that on Mark Wahlberg, guess what? <laughs> now we have a taste for lion, speaking of the tuna. Now we're coming <laughs> exactly. to you. We have turned the tables. We tuna. We're coming after yes. you. We've exactly. lost so many people with these references. <laughs> exactly. We're going to continue to, continue oh, to dive <laughs> deeper on. into them. Should we just recite Watch the whole? the other guys. Oh, Will it continue? Advice. Huge Oscar uh. snubs for that movie. We can talk God. about that later. Um, Jen, I, as you watch these play out, as someone who was inside the room as a lot of this was happening, mm -hmm. So much of this for conservatives is based on a New York Post tweet about Hunter Biden's laptop. But as Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez and other Democrats exposed yesterday, there was a lot going on within Twitter that allowed everything that ran up to January 6th. Exactly. Uh, I'm not going to quote the other guys. I have no more quotes Fair to enough. offer. But I, I will say the largest issue here, I mean, if you if you were running a local political campaign and you're running ads on television and you say something inaccurate about your opponent, guess what happens? Your ad gets pulled down. These platforms live by a very different set of rules and people consume more information from them by, than any other source of media. So think of the danger of that. And with that in mind, as Alexandria uh, Ocasio-Cortez just said, Mm -hmm. Basically, they're allowing hate speech, racism. Also, let's not forget inaccurate information about vaccines and how they can save your lives run rampant on these platforms. So what these Republicans are doing, essentially, just to break down past all of this crazy word salad of yesterday, is they are defending the pushing of inaccurate, dangerous information on the platforms that most people receive information from that are that is racist, dangerous prompted January 6th is prompting people not to get vaccinated. That's what they're defending. That's the hill they have decided they want to die on. Yeah, it appears